All right. Thank you so much, Dan, for uh, playing the video. Seems like we have um, an, a question or two in the Q&A box, and I think you've started answering them, but uh, I would like to basically just um, voice it out and maybe you can sh answer it live for the rest of the audience. Um, so yep, David, David asks, um, we are using GitLab 11.5 EE. Do we expect features to work with this version? Um, and I think the answer, the quick answer is yes. Um, and then basically uh, elaborated it in the uh, Q&A box. But then uh, David asked again uh, to clarify that he is the platform owner. Uh, can he change the default pipeline that is automatically created for his users? For example, can the security can security add or change a scan and add it to the template? Uh, okay, so you're talking right. So you're talking about the uh, on your own instance changing the default auto DevOps pipeline. I don't believe that that capability is in place today. Um, uh, I'd have to go ver validate, but uh, but I'm pretty sure that right now it runs a, an internal lead defined pipeline that is that template that you can see if you look at the uh, uh, new file templates. Um, but I don't think that it's customizable at this point. Awesome. All right, thanks, Dan. Uh, and then Alexei uh, asked a question, um, which I think the first one I can answer pretty, pretty quickly myself. So is this video available somewhere? Uh, answer is yes. Uh, we actually will send the pre-recorded uh, demo and the Q&A session today. Uh, as in the follow-up email to all attendees and registrants. So you will be getting a copy of that. Um, and then Alexi also asked, it can be, oh, okay, actually. He, he actually has the answer here. Yeah, he actually has the answer. Um, and he would like pricing, it, oh, he's asking if pricing is negotiable for 200 plus members. Not sure if this is an, a Dan question or more sales team question, <laughs> but I'll let you take it, Dan. Better, better asked of the sales team, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So any other questions from the audience? Otherwise, maybe we can go through. I, yeah, if, if you don't mind, there, there's a question that David asked first, which I'll, I'll um, just oh, okay. reiterate the answer on. So so the, the follow on question was, is, is the, what I guess what, what David, you were meaning was, was the default pipeline customizable. But I just want to re reiterate that. Uh, you can take the auto DevOps pipeline uh, that, that that is pre-configured by us and you can create your own, you can use it as a template to create your own CIML, uh, GitLab CIML file, and then customize it from there. Uh, what we're missing uh, and haven't got to yet, I guess, is the setting it as the default for the whole instance. Um, but uh, looks like Alexi found a way to do that. Um, uh, but through the main normal UI, you can't. Uh, and uh, but but you can make a copy of the of the auto DevOps pipeline and customize it. You can also create your own entirely different pipeline um, and, and use components from the auto DevOps pipeline. Cool. Alexi has another question then for you. Uh, is there a way to extend UI via some form of JavaScript plugins integ integrations? Ah, uh, yeah. So we do have um, we do have integrations. Um, uh, but a, uh, you're talking about doing your own uh, JavaScript uh, UI changes to the uh, to the UI. Um, it, it is all open source, so uh, you uh, you I'm sure you can. I don't. We don't have a framework in place to support that at this point. Um, but again, it is it is all open. You can see everything um, that is uh, that makes up both the CE and the EE version, um, and uh, hook in what you need to there. Um, but again, yeah, we don't have a plugin framework for UI changes at this point. Awesome. All right. So seems like that is it in terms of questions from the audience. Maybe we'll uh, share one more question that we often see come up and then we can wrap up the call. How about that, Dan? Yep, sounds good. All right. So Dan, um, I think a lot of people are curious uh, if we can connect to any Kubernetes cluster or only ones we're integrated to? Uh, so yes, we can. Um, we have a tight integration currently with, uh, with uh, Google's uh, uh, GKE cluster. 
um, in that you can use your login to connect in and use the UI to configure the whole thing. However, right next to that is the ability to connect to any standard Kubernetes cluster uh, using the standard API. Uh, and that there's also UI for configuring that. And once you do, it's all managed in the background the same way. So yeah, you can connect to anything. Again, any, any I shouldn't say anything, any Kubernetes cluster that is using standard API. Great. Thank you, Dan. Um, and I think Alex, he has another question. So, and mm -hmm. also can he add his mm -hmm. own integration, for example, modified basic Jira integration with something a little more sophisticated? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, we encourage you to contribute it back so that everyone else uh, can benefit from it as well. Um, uh, we'd love to get contributions, um, and and we have a team that will look at contributions uh, every every release and uh, pull in pull them in um, to uh, to the main code base, and then we maintain it from there. Uh, so. Uh, no guarantees that everything that's uh, contributed will make it, but uh, but you can absolutely uh, add your own integrations uh, on top of the code that's there. Um, and uh, we'd love to hear more from you about uh, if you made a correction or, or made something better uh, than what we have out there. We'd love to, to share that uh, through plugin. Uh, I'm sorry, through contribution. Although the Jira itself is a plugin, um, so I guess it would be a contribution to the plugin. Um, uh, you're not having, so you're having trouble, Alexi is having trouble with the merge requests. Uh, that sounds like something we want to work with you offline on. Um, you should be able to, if you're on gitlab.com working with uh, the code base, you should be able to open a merge request on either of the code bases. Uh, so if it's not working, there's something else going on we need to resolve. We can take that offline. If Lexi, maybe we can just uh, hang out after we're done here and uh, we'll get your contact information. Cool. Uh, I think we have uh, the contact. I'll send it to you then. I have Good point. Okay. Great. Contact information from the registration. And um, all right. So if there is no other question, then I guess we can wrap up um, giving maybe another minute if there's anyone that's itching to ask any more questions. And then if not, we'll move on. All right, um, thanks for, seems like Alexi is submitting a merch request. Thank you for that. Um, so thank you for the questions, everyone, and Dan for answering the questions. So this demo is something new that we're trying. So we'd love to hear what your thoughts are on today's session and would really appreciate your responses to our survey, which I'll drop in the chat. We would also like to invite everyone to sign up for a free trial of GitLab Ultimate if you haven't already. I'll chat that link as well. And finally, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach us via our sales contact page about .gitlab.com sales. Thank you. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us.